Okay, so I am going to run through the journaling system or notebook system that I have and currently use. So first up, um, I one of my favourite, favourite, favourite times to journal is in the evening. So once you've done your day, um, don't know about you guys, my head just, it's full. It's full of information. It's full of glorious people that I've spoken to, had conversations with. I've got ideas from and I need to get it all out. So my go to for doing that is Evo. Um, and this is just lines on a page date it you can time yourself so if you if you're setting a goal to journal for x period a day so five minutes ten minutes then you can you can use that to track um it can allow you to the way that it's all laid out you can run page you know into page 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 so if you've got five pages of notes or thoughts do it the second one that I've just recently introduced to my system is Indite. Um, and again, this this was originally um, built with writers in mind. So people that have continuous ideas, like a story that, you know, you're not sitting down to journal about one day. You might be writing a chapter or some, par you know, some paragraphs. Um, some character building. Um, I'm using it to collect questions. So I I am doing some purple musings over on on, on uh, LinkedIn, <clears throat> and these are just things that come up. You know, while I'm sat down, chilling out, having a G and T, I might have a question. A query about life or work or business, um, something that I can't answer right in that moment, something that I need to, I want to log and then think about, look for maybe the answers, speak to people, explore that topic that, that I've just wrote down about. So this is just a running list of questions that are currently running around in my head. Now, the second one, or sorry, the third one is lightning. And this has to be, uh, no, I'm going to say all of them are my favorite. Of course, they're all my favorite, but this is fun. This is fun. So this is content ideation. This is take a topic, brainstorm, you know, kind of subtopics around it. Um, so on the first page, you brainstorm, uh, you mind map. On the pages that follow from that, you write down just this like three or four lines uh, to each idea, the 16, a space for 16. You bullet points just, you know, kind of what you're thinking about, some subtopic ideas or questions. And then the last thing you do is put an action list together. So what are you, you've done all this work, you've collected ideas, what are you gonna do with them? Now, the other um, way that I've been using this is combining it with comments. So when you post, um, people comment, you have conversations and as with normal conversations, you know, someone might suggest something that you've never thought about. So, um, oh well, for me, um, that's been happening in my comment section. So I'll put into the middle just there, the post name, and then I'll collect all the comments. And after one of the exercises that I've done, I've done this on just one post, I come out with 16 ideas and they range from book ideas, so new layouts, content ideas, video ideas, t further topic conversations. So this is just fun and it's great if you if you wake up one day and you go, I just don't even know what 
I'm going to write. I don't know what to do. You can pick this up and your ideas are all in there. I'm talking of action. My kind of go-to every morning, listing things out, um, is Zeal. So this is the Zeal Planner. Um, it's part guided and part kind of freestyle. So on the first page, there's sections for top priorities, ideas to research, people to connect with. So it is very much aimed at you guys are uh, kind of reaching around on the internet, connecting, engaging. Um, and then you've got additional tasks down the bottom, you know, shopping, that sort of stuff, cleaning. And then on the second page, like I said, the boxes are left so that, you know, you'll have other things that you want to concentrate on. Um, on this particular day, I needed to get some stuff done. Oh, this was Christmas. So I needed, you know, gifts who have i got to get stuff for what kind of i wanted to get certain rooms cleared out that sort of stuff so that is that's full on action getting shit done and ticked so the other fun one that i have i use a lot i use this book to map out um other book layout ideas The concept, um, inspired by one of my friends over on Twitter, uh, who she said she didn't like to write on the left-hand side of the page, which I totally get, especially if the paper's thin, which thankfully it, in these books, you can use a fountain pen on both sides and it's, it's absolutely fine. But I come up with the sketch on the left and write on the right. So what I use this book for, is to map out, you know, just the visual diagrams of what the pages will look like. And it is very loose, um, very, you know, just as creative people do, just whack down your ideas, cross things out, move things around. And then on the right hand side, I will just have a dialogue around the concept. So as you can see, all the books are named. So that is always linked to a purpose. Um, if you want to hear more about that, let me know. Uh, so yeah, I'll write about the, what, what the intention is for the book. So the, that one person out there, how, how does their brain work when they're working through um, thoughts, ideas? So that's what I use on that one. And then finally, the last one that is part of my system is Purple Blaze. Now, this is a dotted interior. Um, very, very simple, but you can do workflows. I'm currently using this specifically to map out um, the kind of business flows of everything. This entire, you know, kind of making a video, uh, getting it out there. Uh, there's loads of steps in between and I'm still figuring all that out. So this is where I log the final, what does that final workflow, that business system, that business process, what does it look like? Um, the dots allow me to write, sketch, um, you know, link everything, arrows, you can go crazy. Uh, this was originally called Pebble Haze which is another way of saying dots, dots. I thought it was perfect, but um, it wasn't allowed, so I changed it to Blaze. So if you do get one, just have in the back of your head, it was Purple Haze. So that <clears throat> is my complete current system that holds all the different areas of my life, work, business, and everything. It may or may not grow. So that was my journal system um, as it currently stands. It may or may not um, grow. Um, it will depend on kind of what happens in life. Um, I may feel the need to, to kind of, you know, have some other ones to touch on areas of life that I'm not thinking of right now. But I want to hear from you guys. Do you 
have a journaling system? Are you more digital? Do you love the idea of um, sitting down and grabbing a notebook and doing some journaling? But you're just not, you're not sure. Will it work for you? Will you enjoy it? Will you get anything from it? Um, if you've got any questions, stick them in the comments below. Um, I love nothing more than geeking out over uh, not only journaling. What really fascinates me is how your brains work. Um, they're, they're all different um, and you process information differently. Um, some people need prompts and if you're one of those if you're one of those people that you need a prompt I don't have a lot of uh, prompted journals at the moment only because I don't want to feel like any questions or prompts that I come up with um, are being forced onto you every single page um, what I'm thinking of is potentially having a space at the start of the book where you can pick and choose what prompts will help you um you specifically um my prompts and any prompts that you know tom dick or harry needs they're not going to be the ones that you need so i think i like the flexibility of you choosing um the prompts that you want but I also respect the fact that some people, when they start, they'd like a set of prompts. So if you do, get in touch, uh, send me a DM. If you're on LinkedIn, connect there, connect over on Twitter. I'm pretty much everywhere under the same handle. So it's at Purple Reset. So yeah, I'd love to chat, um, geek out have a good old conversation maybe if we can have a time zone where we can sit down and have a gt and have a chat that would be awesome so if you haven't already please do the you know the the social thing of the likey likey um if you are really into journaling and you want more of me <laughs> bizarre if you do then hit the subscribe button and i don't know there's a bell smash the bell um and if you're on other social media come and check me out yeah that'd be cool and look i've done an entire video and i haven't fucking sworn until now so there you go if you came for the profanity you had to wait until now so i'm sorry i'll do better next time Hope you're having a beautiful, awesome, amazing day. Make good choices, as like Bailey Sarian says, that's my intention. Make good choices this year. Yeah, I'm not going to have beer tonight. That's my good choice for the day. So until next time, see ya.